We've been showing the current state of affairs at the site. We got an aerial view of what's happening at the cathedral site now. After all of these demolitions, this is it. The number of buildings that the Honorable Samuel Kutu Ablaqua has indicated had to be demolished for this to be done. The cost that we have to bear as a people. But then again, the finance minister, the former finance minister and the board's proposition is that this is a strategic project that has enormous economic benefits long term while transforming Ghana into a religious hub, creating jobs, accruing more revenue for the state, and so on. Is this a strategic project based on this position or a misplaced priority? I think okay. it's absolutely a misplaced priority. And uh, I'll give some preambles, but before that, I want to say that the law needs to meet the needs and values and then the hopes of the people. So when I sit here every day and I hear that there are a lot of legal things, because law, you know, I had a lot of lawyers who teach mm -hmm. in my department. Law is a very authority course. And because if the law says this, then there's nothing that we can do. That's what the law says. Mm -hmm. But I can also say from leadership perspective that the law is the least bar in every society. Why? The moral compass, your values are higher. That is why when you break the law, you go to jail, because that is the least bar everybody should clear before you live in any society. So when we are interpreting the laws, we should look at the hopes, the aspirations, and then the values of the people. Having said that, let me go to leadership. In leadership, culture is very key. Strategy is important. Innovation is imperative. Communication is vital, and execution is everything. Mm -hmm. So when the president wants to execute something and you want to use public funds, the name is very explicit, public funds. So let's educate our listeners. The president don't have cocoa farm or any coffee farm that he use money for. Before Nanado or ex-president, uh, Mahama. Mahama became president, they could not go anywhere to contract loans for Ghana. We gave them the mandate to do that, so they do everything in trust for the people. So when you are doing something, the same as members of parliament, you should, in U.S., before a congressman votes on any issue, you go back to the community and ask them what they want, before you, because you don't represent your own values there. You represent the voice of your constituents. Having said that, I think that the National Cathedral has been shrouded, one, in secrecy, two, in surprises, three, in drama, and four, in confusion. Mm -hmm. So four things that is happening here. Mm -hmm. We have secrecy, surprises, drama, and confusion. Why? I've never seen a project that is at the infant stages, just the foundation, and it's in commission. <laughs> because <laughs> there are so many controversies that around it. I know. <laughs> That's the drama piece, Andy. <laughs> and then the second part is that I've also never seen <laughs> A situation where board members have resigned en masse like this. Yeah. Because yeah. they were surprised by the development, and that meant that it is not where they were told from the beginning. Because we have Dougie Ward Mills, we have uh, Duncan Williams, we have it's a Reverend Mensa Hotel Bill and Eastwood Anaba, yeah. all resigning from that. Having said that, we have the public procurement authority who claim to have no knowledge. Yeah about what is going on, and every question you give to the National Procurement Authority, they will ask you to go to the, uh, the cathedral uh, secretariat and they ask questions. And that raises issues mm -hmm. about the uh, identity of the cathedral. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so, so that's the drama and the confusion part. Then we have demolished buildings, over 20 demolished buildings. So that is an additional cost we talk about. Yeah. That is also part of the controversy. Then we have relocation cost, mm -hmm. which has not even been costed to be yeah. part of the original 450 yeah. now because yeah. we were told it's going to be 100 well, million. Yes, if you concentrate on that, which yeah. we have paid. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we have paid Andy. Yeah. I like you very much. You yeah. see, I like honest people. Yeah. And Ghanaians don't want honesty. Yeah. So look, the situation is that we need critical friends. This shouldn't even come from Sami. Sami has done a good job traveling abroad looking for. I've seen all that. Because he cares for Ghana, the money will never come to his pocket. It is mm -hmm. coming to Ghanaian pocket. Look, we are talking about a situation where the president has to sign something or think about going for loan, yeah. and because of that, he's stuck. Yeah. The money that we have, the resources, the plethora of resources we have in the bellies of our land, somebody should not be detecting things for us. Yeah. We should be rather detecting to others because we have the resources. Yeah. But unfortunately, because we mismanage our resources, then we have a problem. Now, let me go to the secrecy and the controversies. We also have lack of proper documentation. It's like you're looking for documents and you can't find them. 
then we also have more questions, like Andy said, than answers. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are many questions that are not being answered. Then we have lack of accountability, which is also one of the drama there. And then plausible professional negligence, which is also one of the issues that have not been uh, talked about. So, you know, you know, I am saddened here, sitting to hear what happened to John Kuma. Yeah. We went to Opokuwari together. He's oh, okay. You see, he's okay. And I was thinking that for the past 67 years, that Ghana have had independence. The next 67 years, what is that going to be? The next 67 years, if we don't sit up with the next generation, would duck, you know, they would dig our coffin and beat us up. Because we have all this. I have a friend, uh, Dr. Benzuge, who works at Walt Disney. And he came and asked me, you know, what is the weather like in Ghana? I said, it's the dry season and the wet season. 24-7, mm -hmm. you can plant anything, put anything on the ground, and it sprouts up. Yeah. And he, what he told me, I will mm -hmm. never forget, he said, God has not been fair to us. Do you, you have been to Wisconsin, Madison, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that I stayed, and I built 15 yeah. leadership courses for the entire 16 technical colleges in, in Wisconsin, U.S. Wow. I built leadership courses, and they ask me every time that, what is the leadership like in Africa? Look, if we get our leadership right, for the past 67 years that we have struggled, let's think about the next 65, uh, 67 years that we think about space technology, yeah. we think about teletransport. Look, if you go to Amsterdam here, and, and even Europe, all the Schengen states. Yeah. Look at the way train transport. Yeah. Easy. Can't we connect all the 16 regions? Look at the jobs that that is going to create for us. Yeah. And then let's talk about health. Yeah. When when um, this friend that I mentioned his name, what's the name? The one mm -hmm. who just passed. John Kuma. John Kuma passed. He was at Suhum here. Suhum Regional Hospital is where they took him to. Mm -hmm. If the money that we spend every year in March pass, that people die and people just collapse. Yeah. Magafuli did the same in Tanzania, that we are not going to celebrate my, you know, independence anniversary because people, let me educate ourselves, that sovereignty is won at the economic front. Sovereignty, sovereignty is, won. is won at the economic front. If okay. economically you are not free, you are not sovereign. If you, uh, that is why I began this discussion by stating what my grandmother told me. He who feeds you controls you. God made us in such a way that you have to find food, you have to find you know, place to lay your head and then something to cover your nakedness. Yeah. That is how you survive, right from the plebiscites. So when you are not able to look for food for yourself, mm -hmm. the hunters, yeah. you die because hunger is going to kill you. When you are not able to find something to cover your nakedness, of course, the vigorous weather is going to kill you. When you don't have something to cover, you know, your head, then you are in trouble. When somebody provides all these things for you, they have taken your brain away from you. And that's what a white man is doing to the black race. Mm -hmm. Yes, Professor, so, so, you know, it leaves us a lot to think about. Yes, so Alfred, you were, you were asking for the letter uh, yes, from for the termination. Day, I think I have a copy of that. Sent, I've sent you a copy. It's dated uh, March 14, 2022. Let's put that on the screen. Uh, right now. Notice of termination of appointment, and this was to all their workers. It reads yes. Due to the lack of payment from National Cathedral of Ghana, which has resulted in the project being suspended, Ribade Company Limited are required under the contract to mitigate costs mm -hmm. in compliance with such an obligation under the contract. That's what Ribade Company Limited has no option but to issue this letter of notice terminating the agreement between Ribade Company Limited and you as per the provisions of your employment agreement. Mm. This notice of termination takes effect on the 14th of March 2022. That's two years ago. You are therefore requested to hand in all properties, that is safety equipment, etc., belonging to the company in your possession to the HR office <coughs> by close of work of the same day. And this is signed by Grant Ramsey, the project manager. Hmm. So despite so all of this money, $58.1 million, dollars, the contractor said he was not yeah. being paid and how to lay off workers, mm -hmm. how to but, terminate the agreement uh, with workers. Uh, so then yeah, that it yeah, raises fundamental this. questions as to yeah. where this so where money, the money were go going from, yeah. because... Yeah. Yeah. Constitution. Yeah. Yeah. So, this, where did, this, where, so where was the money going to? The, and that's what the, this parliamentary probe you are asking for would help get answers to these questions. That is, if it is so granted. Mm -hmm. and, and even if it doesn't happen... Well, the, the House speaker, has passed a yeah, resolution. The, so the business. House has passed a resolution. It's just the, 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 the feed dragon. Uh, you see, but, I'm but, warning you about the delays mm -hmm. to be associated mm -hmm. with the process you are describing. You, okay. Yeah. And the possible truncation mm -hmm. of a dream, mm -hmm. and I'm providing uh, alternative, alternative mm -hmm. that you more okay. e e efficient and 
where you have your faith in your hands and where you have direct uh -huh. No, I'm not but sure to be in our hands. This it's is our the, faith. This yeah. is our country. It's for me, country. let's be critical, friends. Yeah. The money is not you going see. to Sami or anybody. No, 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 yeah. no. It's not I, for MPP or NDC. Yeah. Let's retrieve the money to build the country we love. And I agree yeah. with you. But how do you do that? And that is why I'm describing a process of trying to, you know, retrieve uh, as much as possible some of these monies. Okay. We have had these con uh, conservative approaches, uh, uh, resolutions, that will end up on the shelf. Nothing happens again when you have finished. And right. most cases, they become only, bring us only political dividend, not the economic dividend that we so require. Uh, okay. You have proved that Andy is a, uh, Andy is a, a, a corrupt person. Uh, beyond that, you are probably better than Andy in terms of moral uprighting, and that's the end of it. So okay. what happened to all that I gained uh, you know, unlawfully? You leave it for yeah. me to go and enjoy. So I'm saying that where monies are concerned, and the Constitution has said that, it is my duty. It is, it is not only a right, it's a duty yeah. for us to work to ensure that it doesn't happen. Okay. And so, I provided the lead. The lead. So let us see more action there. And okay. let's activate the law and see where the law can bring us relief. Thank you very much. So, Niyama Amate, if you I, I see the message that you, you sent as well, this one here um, also says, good morning, Alfred and team. Uh, uh, the discussion and the discourse this morning has been elevated in the interest of the Ghanaian people, and this is what we need uh, on a Saturday morning like this. Kudos to you and the team. Thank you very much. This one here says that Samuel Okuja Tua Blackwa must be supported in every way possible uh, to ensure that he gets to the bottom of these issues that he has raised on your platform this morning. Quite shocking to say the least. And that this one also here says that all the monies that have been used for the resettlement and the compensation to the people and the companies that have or lost their property due to I did not the, have a bite on that. The, yeah. I the, have a lot the, of information on that. Yeah. The resettlement plan yeah. and the, uh, the whole project, the Kosovo project. No, 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 not that no, one. No, no, you're talking about the, the resettlement uh, of no, you, uh, 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 the, the end, I'll give you property you owners. Property. Okay, but yes. property. Yes. Property. And some have gone to court. Yes, that's yes. okay. Yes. Some yes. Have let me finish. Let me finish reading the message. I'll I'll give you a couple of minutes while we end to talk about it. But this one here says that that money is for the Ghanaian people. None of the monies, not even a Peswa, came from the pocket of the president or anybody in government to resettle or compensate these companies and their judges as well. This must be accounted for. The other one here says that the pit has been dug. The foundation has been dug. Buildings have been demolished. But what has to happen next? Because it's clear that this cathedral cannot be completed before the end of the term of the one who made the promise to back as President Kufado. So what happens next to this land? And that's what, that's the question. Dr. Kwame Asante, thank you for this. That's the question I asked Kujatu Ablakwa, and he says there are other considerations. So there are proposals for something else to be done there. So we'll see what happens next. This one here from Prince Henry from Kufaridia says, uh, why should President Kufaro be afraid to sign the LGBT bill to law if he believes in the mantra of Ghana beyond it? We must be committed to the development of this country in every way possible. Colonel Festus Abuaji says, good morning, Alfred and the team. Laws have a cultural dimension and reflect societal dynamics. And uh, Okujatua Blackwell's commitment to this cathedral issue goes beyond the politics and we must see it as such. Thank you very much for your messages. Indeed, not at all. And that's why I, I think that the messages reflect that. I'll be back shortly after this quick break. There's a, a, an, another issue that has come up we have to deal with. Very, very important. Um, but before that, Easter is here again. Book your family trip with us this uh, Easter uh, holidays, I mean, not key point, but I'm going to tell you. Uh, stay two nights and get the third night for free. Mm. Yes, this is what we are offering you, our viewers and all of you here. Mm. Stay two nights and get the third night for free with all meals inclusive, including dinner with live band every evening from 29th of March to the 1st of April. Packages uh, offer guests free access to all the in-house facilities, swimming pool, gym, cinema, plenty things. 
and uh, fun activities, including tour of our beautiful facility with an electric golf cart. You don't have to walk around. They'll help you do that. Bouncy castles, trampoline, bicycle rides, quad bike rides, boat rides to the Maha village, all of that. And I'm talking to you about the Maha Beach Resort. It's a one-stop holiday destination for everyone. Maha, spelled M-A-A-H-A, -A -A, Beach Resort. Go, you've been there. Where is it? It's, oh, this is in the Western region. Western region. Yes, you should make some time and go there <laughs> to relax. <laughs> That's why I asked for this uh, location. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give them a call on 0303 I'll give you the phone numbers. Sure. Yes, and go and, go and enjoy yourself. Maha Beach Resort. Make some time and go and enjoy yourself there. Uh, on, can can see us here uh, on, on Key Point. I'll be back shortly after this quick break. There's another important issue we're getting into. Stay with us.